Uh, here in Tirreno, we have uh, definitely the strongest guys uh, for the lead out. So I'm really confident uh, we're going to make the plan perfect one day. So the perfect scenario will be Devil. Maybe he can start his, his pool with uh, 1.5 to go. I'm pretty much the start of the lead out training for our team. Um, I'm kind of the guy who guards the team into, into position and also I have, to either, I have to be able to judge that I can get the guards to their meter markers. But uh, really it's a smooth turn, it's a turn that builds the team up to speed and it's about um, taking control of the front. Matthias has a really strong legs, uh, he can uh, pull steady for a long time, so that's his main, uh, main job. Well, it always depends a bit from sprint to sprint, but I would say my goal always has to be to reach the one kilometer mark. That after Alex can take over and uh, if Rick is on the wheel, uh, then he can do the lead out. When Alex starts his effort, uh, normally is when other teams come and they, they kind of uh, do this uh, drag race uh, next to each other. And uh, Alex sometimes, yeah, most of the times Alex shows that he is the strongest and uh, he brings us. Yeah, my lead out starts at around 1k to go. So I'm the guy at the moment that drops off uh, Rick Zabel. That's my job, so it's a bit more hectic. It's a shorter effort, it's generally it's like a 30 second, 30 or 40 second effort at around seven or 800 watts seated. Rick is crucial, uh, especially in the last kilometers, he has to guide the guys in front of him, uh, and, which is Alex, but yeah, mostly all the, all the lead out train and, uh, and be sure I'm, I'm behind him. And, uh, and still be focused on, on, on his sprint because um, as being the, the, last, the last guy, he's, also, he's a sprinter, so he has to sprint himself. Exactly, I'm the last lead out guy, so I am a little bit the bridge between the sprinter and the yeah, two lead out guys in front of me, Alex and Matthias. So communication is very important uh, to guide them a little bit, to be a little bit, yeah, let's say the brain of the train. Then I just hit it as hard as I can um, for 300 meters uh, or maybe even a little bit long, uh, longer, like 30 pedal strokes all, all out to uh, yeah, lead out Giacomo as fast as possible to the line that he can start the sprint uh, when I go off and then uh, me, uh, in the best case he would win the race. Yeah. I think the, the ideal distance is changed from 200, 250 to 180, a bit shorter because then uh, you have less chances that the other guys pass you. You really feel the spirit of the group uh, in, a, in a lead out train and that's why when it comes to victory, everybody feels part of that.